Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trove. So in today's video, I thought we might take a little bit of a break and do some Ultra Weeping Prophet. Now this is going to be really fun. This is pretty much the, the most I can actually handle in, like in terms of Shadow Tower. And you're going to see pretty much what I do every Monday. Now before we start off, I do want to mention that I will be giving away another 5 streamer dream codes, or boxes, whatever you want to call them. Um, I actually should be <laughs> using my, um, death defying, I will put that on shortly, but I'm gonna die and I aren't, aren't I, I can't talk, <clears throat> I have a bubble in my throat, I don't know why, but, um, sorry about the last episode, I actually did a giveaway there, my Fruit Ninja video, or whatever it was called, but I didn't actually specify that I was giving away codes, at least I don't think I did. Now... Don't worry, that giveaway is already done, and people who did participate, thank you for that, because if you did, you actually had a really good chance of winning, since many people didn't know. Um, there was like, I think like 20 comments at most, which was, you know, that's actually really good for people not knowing that there was a giveaway. That means that they actually specifically went to the comment section and looked at my message. But yeah, thanks for everyone who actually commented and and congrats, congrats to everyone who actually won. I still got my, this bubble in my throat, I don't know why. But like I said, I will be doing another giveaway today. So all you have to do is comment down in the comment section with some random gibberish. It really doesn't have to be anything. You could just, for all I care, you could just <laughs> smack your keyboard against the... Smack your keyboard. Smack your face against the keyboard and send that. <laughs> and if you send random gibberish, I'll, I'll just assume that that's what you did, even though that's probably not what you did. But since I am a child at heart, I will assume that's what you did. So, calm down in the comment section and tomorrow I will pick winners. So with that out of the way, that took a lot longer than expected. But we are going to be doing some Shadow Towers. Uh, as if you couldn't already see <laughs> that I was doing that. Now, this video probably won't be that long because I don't think it actually takes me that long to do these. But if it does turn out to be a relatively short video, like five minutes or so, I'll probably do some adventuring, but I don't know. <laughs> I tend not to have these videos be like super long just, you know, for the fact that it's Trove and there's really not m much stuff that I could be doing, I guess. I don't know. And I'm still in the habit of pressing Q, even though I have Death Defying. That's just me. <clears throat> I actually wanted to get some PvP in, but unfortunately, no one seems to be doing PvP, which is rather unfortunate. PvP, um, although be it not the most fun in the world, it would be a change up for what I normally do. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I said this in a previous video, but I went to the hub and no one was doing PvP. I must have sat in there for like 15 minutes and I think I've only gotten like one or two other people queuing with me, but I don't know. <clears throat> so that's about that. So if you do want to be, if you want to be, if you want, if you do ever want to end up PvPing, I guess we could form a group and do that and I'll just record a couple of matches. Um, but like I said, not not really hoping, hoping, not really expecting it because many people don't actually care about PvP just because of how like broken and stuff it is. I don't know, but stuff. I didn't actually know I was playing on low settings. I usually don't play on low settings, at least when I'm recording. But with this unoptimized game, I wouldn't be surprised, especially in Shadow Tower where I'm kind of constantly getting like over 100 FPS, but that is just because it's Shadow Tower and not much stuff is actually happening, but we make do, we make do with what we have, I guess. <clears throat> my computer is actually decent, it's just my graphics card. I, I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade soon, like I was looking at like, you know, just starting off with a um, GTX 1060, something like that, and then probably upgrading that like somewhere down the line which would take a while because a 1060 well to be honest for what I need for like the games that I play to be honest the 750 Ti is already good enough but 
you know, you gotta you gotta be like those gamers, next gen gaming, and you gotta go like 144. You need a 144 hertz monitor because apparently that's what everyone else has, and that's what they want you to have. But no, I'm just gonna game on my um, 60 hertz monitor and have my low 60 frame rate. But I don't know. Maybe one day I will experience what it's like to have like a 144 hertz monitor. That would actually be insane <laughs> because I've never, like I said, I've never had the luxury to have one of those and see what gaming is actually like. I've seen videos where people have had that and their reaction time is like, like the amount, like, you know, because it's like, what, double the frame, so the more, well, it's more than double, but the more, like, they move like so fast and with the amount of frames they have, they're able to like react to so much more stuff. It's uh, especially noticeable in like um, FPS games because that's where everyone says you need 144 hertz or 120 hertz or something like that to even play it. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't need that. I I'm good at 60 <laughs> FPS, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just living in the past <laughs> and, and stuff. Maybe I should change. I should give in to pure pressure. Although no one's pressuring me, I'm just. I should give in to my own pressure and get 144 hertz, and spend like my mon my munsies. Now, hopefully, I should be able to do this if these guys don't actually kill me, because usually it is the eyeballs that end up killing me, not the actual boss. But they did actually end up nerfing the boss a lot. I actually forgot to use my sun snare, which is what I usually um, use when the eyeballs come out. Or else they're gonna wreak havoc all over my face, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. And I only have two flasks, so I might not actually be able to do this, to be honest. I don't know. Please do not drop any more of your- wait, do I actually- oh my- I don't even have the damage. That would explain it, I was um- I was grinding keys yesterday in Uber 7, and I just put on cotton candy. Because I thought, what the heck, I'll just, you know, get the magic find rather than the damage. And it turns out I wasn't even getting my 20% damage because I am a genius. So anyway, um, it's about 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So let's actually do a couple, a couple, I was going to say a couple bit of adventuring. <laughs> let's do some adventuring and stuff. So unfortunately, we don't have any high level portals in here because this was built before the introduction of Uber 9. So let us take the portal of Majesticness and actually go up. Where is it? Uber 9. You know what? Let's actually do some U9 Everdark. You know, spruce things up even more. Like, do let's let's go out of the ordinary over here and just do stuff. We have Mario. <laughs> we have Mario over here doing shenanigans. And what do I actually? Okay, I have those coins. Unfortunately, I can't buy them, or else I would because I I have like no fucks because I just bought Patron. <clears throat> But, not like I need them, because if I actually go to my menu, I have, how many dragon coins do I have? Like, two, almost 2.3k. Like, I'm, I'm ready for a few dragons. I know that's probably going to run out really quick, because they are introducing, they are going to introduce dragons. Like, nothing after Megalithic. And it probably will stop the video soon, just because of the challenge. I didn't realize how close to the hour it actually was. Now apparently someone told me that for a day, and only for a day, um, the golems in here, like, you know, the actual golems that you need to kill, the three golems, they were actually weeping profit. Like, the full blown titan weeping profit boss, and apparently that was intentional. I don't know if it was, I forgot who actually told me that, but if that was the case, that would have actually been cool. Now, I would assume that they have that they would have the same health health as the golems. I don't know. They probably had Titan boss health, which if that was the case, it would be cool. But like he said, they were full, like fully sized titans, and it was just weeping prophets. So pretty much, you had to kill three weeping prophets, I guess. I don't know. But someone said Nintendo. Is that my cue to actually say something? Say hi. Oh, can I join Team Pixel? Well, I'll do that later if he's not on the ban list. So let's actually do one more dungeon and then we can call the video there. <clears throat> I'm actually, uh, I'm surprised I thought I would have gotten my um, cubit bar by now. I, how many cubits do I have? Let me, 5k. 
So I'm not necessarily saving. Actually, I kind of am because I'm hoping that when they bring out the new extra life pack, that they will also bring out the eggs. Actually, why do these eggs look different? Like these eggs look the same, then all of a sudden you got Mr. Flatbottom over here. I think it's because they're both white and it's it's blending in. But um, when they introduced the first extra life pack, like way back when, um, they didn't actually throw out the eggs, like the, the two dormant eggs, the purple and the white ones, they didn't actually throw those out in the store until much, much later. So hopefully they don't do that this time, they actually put those eggs in the store, because I don't actually know if I'm going to buy that pack. I don't know why I instinctively opened the store as if to show you something. But um, that, that pack used to actually be only $20 um, US, but now apparently... Well, not apparently it is. I don't know why they changed it, but now it's thirty dollars. Like, it's weird. Why am I not finding a? Uh, <laughs> there we go. I'm. I don't know why I wasn't finding a dungeon, but yeah, they changed it to thirty dollars. I don't like. I would have bought the pack if it was twenty. I know thirty is like, oh, woohoo! It's only thirty dollars more, but still, it's like, why? It's the same reason. Like the same reason why I'm saying that because um, the the. The stupid, what's it called, the pack, that pack, you know, press the right button, please. The Essentials pack, that's $30. Yeah, if it's Essential, I don't think it should be $30. Is that supposed to trick someone? Like, oh, it's Essential, so that means I'm gonna buy it because it has Essential in its name. Little did they know, it has no value in their lives. But, actually, I still, I still don't have Raptor Berserker on, let me put that guy on. R A P T. My mic is actually right next to me. Like it's obstructing my arms. My arms, so I can't actually get anywhere. I have to like move my arms out of the way to actually type. But anyway, this is my normal damage, and my crit hit is not giving me any justice. It really is not. But I do 38k, not 38k, 38 mil every time my enemies blow up, because enemies always like to blow up. So this is pretty much, you know, you're not ever dark. It's not really that much different than Uber 8, you know, in terms of what the bosses look like, or whatever you want to call them. Do I actually have a key on me? I don't think I do. Um, yeah, I don't think I do. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video there, so hopefully you enjoyed the little bit of change up and um, just a little reminder, not a little reminder, but just a reminder, um, like I said, I am doing a giveaway, just in case you skip to the end of the video, just to be like, oh, what's he giving away, which is, you know, that's perfectly fine, I don't really care, but just comment down in the comment section down below to enter, and tomorrow I will pick five lucky winners. So, see you guys later, and take care. Care. <laughs>